Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I talked about how to hard custom validation error to give the user of a particular template a direction on what to do whenever there is an issue with custom validated data. So today, we are moving on to another dynamic function inside data validation techniques. Today's topic will be, we will be focusing on adding dynamic formula using data validation techniques. However, I am still using, I am still making use of the my previous list function templates here. Now, what I want to do is to modify my different categories here. All right, that is the supplies, the telephone, the advertising, and all them. So I am going to create a drop down menu so that someone can jump into this template and change the categories from telephone to whatever categories to update his calculation. I am going to use the same techniques we have just talked about by utilizing this validated list to create this three separate drop down menu. Here. All right. See, see, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to scroll up down to the maybe to the right hand side here to create my validated list categories. All right. So let me choose from this list here. Okay. Let me choose. Okay. Maintenance. Rent. Okay. Software. Copy. Revised. Contractor. may had one more consultants all right okay so now let's make use of this list for now this is a I'm going to use it to create a drop-down menu so that a user can pick from all these different categories all right after you must have created your valid data here the next step is to what to select these three or four categories here by putting on your control control key all right then pick it one after the other then pick it one after the other all right and then then go to data here so after going to, after that then go to your data validation click on data validation all right under this setting i'll make use of the setting under these settings i want to make use of list not value so i'm going to select from the list so i want to work on the the list here all right from the source so what is my source so my source is my is, is my valid data that i've already created so just highlight and highlight and pick it pick the source then click click on ok you can see that automatically that a drop down list has been created all right you see maintenance rent software copying overhead contract also now you can see it so you can see it all right you can see so the drop down list has been created so what i'm trying to 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 do is it to create something that it's user friendly using a validated data here 
in creating a drop, drop down list in order to work to have more dynamic interactive for my calculation so they just let's see if uh, let's see if i change my supplies to what to software we can see that as i'm changing it the value is also changing simultaneously telephone if i change it to rent you can see it as i'm changing it it's changing it so i'll be able to create a, a very user friendly interface in order to work to to allow or any user that is using this template will have a more dynamic friendly template for for the work so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, youtube channel as i will keep updating you on series of excel techniques bye